What's up, YouTube world? This is Steven again. It is currently 12.17 a.m. on August 6th of 2015, and I would like to welcome you all to my 17th Top Thursday. Today, I am going to be revealing to you all my top 10 finishers in the WWE. Now, this is just a broad range of finishers, and I know there's a broad range of finishers out there. I know there's going to be a ton, and I mean a ton, of disagreements. But um, let me just fix this real quick. There we go. Okay. But uh, without further ado, let me go ahead and get into my list of top 10 finishers in the WWE. I'm going to say the name of the move and then the person who performs the move. So here we go. Number 10 is the Stone Cold Stunner, Stone Cold Steve Austin. This guy, <laughs> it's the bottom line because Stone Cold says so. <laughs> What he does during this move is he kicks a guy in the stomach or groin area or whatever, and then he turns around and brings their head down and, like, nails their head on the shoulder or whatever, and it's just great. 316, baby. <laughs> Number nine is the Batista bomb. Batista. This guy is just completely jacked. I mean, <laughs> he is incredible. He... It's, the Batista bomb is pretty much a normal power bomb, except when he throws the person down, he also sits down as he throws them down, so I guess it gives him more force or more, I don't know, maybe leverage to throw the person down to the ground, and it is just an awesome move in general, and that takes my number nine spot. Number eight is Rock Bottom, The Rock. <laughs> what the rock? is cooking and every time he's cooking up a rock bottom or a people's elbow either one is just pretty much devastating for the for the opposing wrestler who's facing him i mean it's just great i think number seven swanton bomb jeff hardy i mean i remember him doing one of these from like three stories up i forget who it was on but i remember him doing it from way way up and it was just, it was just incredible to watch on Monday Night Raw. I was watching Raw, and it happened on that show. And uh, it was just incredible. And the amount of accuracy that he does it in is just insane. And, uh, yeah, pretty much. Number six is the Spear, Roman Reigns, Edge, and maybe a couple other wrestlers that I'm probably missing out <laughs> or leaving out or whatever. But uh, the spear, it's pretty much a really, really strong football tackle. I remember Edge did a spear in some kind of ladder match for a title, and he speared, I want to say it was Jeff Hardy in midair. I could be wrong about that, but he speared someone in midair, and then they just came crashing to the ground in a heap. <laughs> it was just awesome. And whenever Roman Reigns does a spear, I mean, it's just it just knocks the person off their feet uh, every single time, no matter if it's, like, say, no matter if it's Sin Cara or The Big Show. It, it just knocks everyone off their feet. Number five is the RKO, Randy Orton. This is, this is similar to the Stone Cold Stunner, except he doesn't, like get on his knees when he puts the guy's head into their shoulder. Um, what he does is he, he jumps up and, like, kind of gets like that, like, with one arm and takes him to the ground. And uh, he has done so many RKOs, and he's done some really unique ones. Um, he reversed one of John Cena's attitude, attitude adjustments into an RKO, and he also RKO'd um, someone, like, I think... It was Kane that was choke slamming Daniel Bryan, and then Randy Orton turned that into an RKO. It was funny. And he RKO'd someone from the top turnbuckle as well through a table. I thought that was pretty good. Number four is the Pedigree, Triple H, and Seth Rollins. What they do during this is uh, they kick the guy in the uh, groin or stomach area and get their head uh, under underneath their legs or between their legs and lift both their arms up, jump up, and BAM! They're, they face plant into the mat, and I've only seen one, maybe two people kick out of this. So if that many people kick out of it, you know it's got to be a great finisher. 
Number three is the F5 Brock Lesnar. This has got to be one of the most dangerous or deadly or devastating finishers in all of WWE, except for my uh, other top two that I have left. Um, it's pretty much... The reason it's called F5 is like, say, for example, a tornado is an F5 tornado. Brock Lesnar gets them up on the shoulders, like, for example, like John Cena is going to do an AA, except he spins them, and <laughs> it's just incredible. And there's no standing in his way if he wants to do an F5 either. It's just absolutely devastating. <laughs> Number two, The Last Ride, Undertaker. Uh, this is pretty much... A power bomb on steroids. Um, he Undertaker gets whatever opponent, whoever opponent it is, into the uh, power bomb power bomb position, and pretty much lifts him up and then just <laughs> slams him. And uh, I don't see him doing this much anymore. Um, I yeah, pretty much. Um, I hardly ever see him do it anymore. Maybe once or twice, but. Not too much. I wonder if they banned it or something for it being too dangerous. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, other than that, before I get to my number one pick, I want to give you my honorable mentions from most considered to least considered. Choke Slam, Big Show, Kane, and a couple others. Attitude Adjustment, John Cena, Brogue Kick, Sheamus, Angle Slam, Kurt Angle, Curb Stomp, Seth Rollins, Superman Punch, Roman Reigns, KO Punch, Big Show. And my number one finisher, WWE finisher on my top ten list is the Tombstone Piledriver, Kane, and Undertaker. This goes way, way, way back. Um, this is definitely the top finisher in my book. Absolutely. Um, I don't know why it wouldn't be. Uh, they pretty much put the person upside down and jump up and land on their knees and their their head the top of their head goes into the mat I've seen maybe and that's like maybe one person kick out of this and that was probably Shawn Michaels when he was facing The Undertaker at Wrestlemania Brock Lesnar may have kicked out of it when he was fit when he beat The Undertaker at Wrestlemania and I can't remember if he did or not I know Shawn Michaels did I think that's the only person though I'm not sure Brock Lesnar may have done it, but I don't know. But yeah, those are my top 10 WWE finishers. For my next top 10 list, I'm going to reveal you all, reveal to you all my top 10 submission moves in the WWE. So be prepared for that list as well. And also, just remember, I'm going to be starting a new playlist starting tomorrow called Freak Out Fridays. So just keep an eye out for that because I'm going to be doing another video tomorrow. Keep an eye out for that, guys, because I can't wait. I just can't wait to start this playlist, and I already have an idea of what I'm going to be doing. And it's correlated with the WWE, but I'm going to leave it as a surprise for you guys. I think you all are really going to like it because it's really funny. But that is my Top Thursday for today. If you want to see my most recent Top Thursday, click around this journal area right here. And if you liked what you saw in this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe right there. Keep on hitting that subscribe button, guys. If you like watching my Trailer Reaction Tuesdays, Top Thursdays, and soon-to-be Freak Out Fridays, you aren't going to want to miss them. Trust me. And comment below, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. This is Steven signing out.